What's going on? Yeah. Right, hey Xavier, welcome back. This is a big year for you. You're kind of, you know, going up in that pecking order in that wide receiver room. So exactly. how different do you feel going in that you know you're going to be one of the main guys? Yeah, um, <clears throat> feels good, you know, uh, feeling real comfortable with everybody, you know, comfortable with uh, KJ, with the play calling and everything like that. So, you know, going in a uh, camp with a certain type of comfortability um, means, it, means a lot. Xavier, we've, I mean, you've been around this team for a while and you've seen these fall camps, but to see Gus be kind of as, as, as uh, I guess, uh, fiery as he's been, you know, and what does that mean for you guys uh, going into the next four weeks? Oh, that excites us. It excites me for, uh, for sure. You know, just having that coach that, you know, has that winner in him, that's all you want to play for, you know. So for it to come out the way it's coming out, I really love it because I feel like I have that in me as well. Xavier, is there, and there's kind of a version to this, but I'm going to ask it this way, the opportunity to have a breakout here that may be the best that you have in your career, does that kind of pull you? Does that kind of lift you? Is there pressure there? What What, what, are you, what is it like kind of carrying that around? Nah, uh, no pressure, you know, just, I guess just uh, going each day, you know, not not looking too far ahead, you know, going each day, just trying to get better each day, you know, um, trusting the process, um, you know, trusting my teammates, knowing they got my back and I got theirs. So at the end of the day, we're going to do what's best for the team that's going to help everybody. What is it about Kobe's game that you look to? Uh, he's explosive and his releases are, are second to none, in my opinion. You know, um, what he does after the ball as well, uh, after the catch as well. You know, that, I think that's a, um, a plus to his uh, abilities as well. You know, he can catch a hitch and, and take it 90 yards. So, you know, he, he's got, um, he got a great ability. Uh, his speed is, is second to none as well. So, I mean, he's, he's got a lot of attributes that, yeah, are really good. How was he as a mentor? Really good. You know, um, since I, I got here as a freshman, he, he's been um, helping me with everything, you know. Uh, teaching me the ins and outs of receiver uh, because I did um, play running back in high school. So <clears throat> just having him as a mentor and uh, him showing uh, showing me the ropes um, and now allowing me to uh, help the younger guys. Kind of piggybacking off that, Kobe was obviously missing a lot of the spring with his uh, injury. What's it like now that he's back um, and you guys are playing off of each other as opposed to you? Yeah. Um, I think that's a great thing, you know, because once you have two receivers that can uh, do do well, you know, it puts the defense in the bind. You know, of course, you got the run game as well. So just having uh, great players all around, you know, does nothing but help help each other. You got you and Kobe back as starters, the third spot. What's the competition look like and the, the variation of skill sets within the other players in the receiving core? Yeah, I mean, we, we've got – we got guys, you know, we got, I feel like we have a deep uh, receiver room, you know, Trent right now, he's making some great plays, you know, we got uh, VAR, we, um, we got Chauncey, you know, we got a lot of players that could uh, just fill that role, I mean, but right now I think Trent uh, it, is doing a great job. Is your role changing this year? Or is it, <gasps> tell us about what you think you're going to be able to do out there. Um, I think, you know, for the most part, I'll be in the slot, but just um, being able to move around. So like uh, in the spring, I, I did pretty much the whole whole spring out of the outside position. So I'm able to learn that. And uh, once we get to the games and, uh, and everything like that, that is um, that is easy for me to be able to go inside and outside. Coach, coach talked about having a chip on your shoulder after the last season, kind of kind of finished, kind of finished. What's the biggest thing that you learned or took away from that first season in the Big 12? Now that you're you know not the not the new kids on the block. Anymore? Um, I think that the biggest thing I, I took away is that we can hang with every team in the Big 12. You know, so just all the, a lot of the games that we were in, we lost in the fourth quarter. So we were uh, we were up or even with them the whole game. You know, we just got to find a way to finish, which um, <clears throat> I feel like is a great thing because that shows us like, hey, we can hang with everybody in this uh, in this league. Now we just got to finish the games. Xavier, so you're known as a versatile player anyway. Um, when you're going through this camp, when you've gone through the spring up to now, even if you want to add that in, what is the skill that you wanted to walk out going into week one going, hey, I know I can do this better? Or is it a mentality thing, you know? Yeah, um, I feel like it's just a, a mentality thing. Just an just a overall um, 
you know, feel for the game, you know, being able to do everything a receiver needs to do and more, you know. Um, I feel like with that uh, running back um, experience I have from high school, I'm able to do uh, things with the ball in my hand that not a lot of receivers can do. So I want to add on to that, you know, um, and then, you know, of course, the route running, we want to uh, make that a lot crisper. Um, being able to see the zones, sit in the zones, be uh, comfortable with all that and getting the timing down with KJ and everything. Anything else? Speaking about the offensive play style and such, how much faster is this team going to be this year? I know you guys moved very fast last year. You know you guys have more acquisitions now, different play styles. So how fast, how much faster is it going to be? <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go fast, you know. We we're, we're always gonna go fast, you know. And now we've got um, we've got a lot of players at each position that can do different things, and uh, so I think that's just gonna um, make this offense so much more explosive, you know. And and we already I feel like had an explosive offense, so just adding more tools to that, man, we're gonna be dangerous. There's a couple of new receivers that came in after spring. Javarius Johnson, Jacoby Jones, your experienced guys that have played a lot yeah. of football. What have, stood, what have stood out about those two guys? Yeah, you know, those, they fit right in. You know, as soon as they got on campus, you know, uh, we brought them in, open arms, you know, and they, they've done nothing but help our uh, help our team and help the receiver room. You know, Var and uh, Kobe, Jacoby, you know, they, um, they have different skill sets. They're both really good, you know, it's Kobe. Big, strong guy, you know, uh, when the ball touches his hands, you know, it really ain't going nowhere. So, and then Var is a smooth route runner, fast, you know, so, I mean, both of them are going to uh, play well for us, you know, they're going to do some great things. Does KJ have some sort of it factor? Yeah, for sure. I think just uh, him ex uh, extending the plays, keeping his eyes down the field, you know, I think um, people don't um, really think that's, that's important. But to me, that's that's very, very important for a receiver and just for offense. You know, when the line breaks down or something like that, for a quarterback to be able to roll out, keep his eyes down the field and throw the ball far, you know, I think that's a plus. And just being able to run the ball as well. He can roll out, run the ball, get 10 yards, get a first down, or even more. So How do you I'm, describe his arm? Like a cannon, yeah. So <laughs> he, could, he could throw that ball. I want to say he throw it like, I don't know. Far though, my like, real far. You can catch him. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes he'll throw me, but we get that. <laughs> oh, we heard. Uh, we heard. I think uh, Antoine and Quadric had good days on defense. For a first day, who was the star on offense? Did anyone make a play, or what stood out to you offensively? Um, I really want to say the O line. You know, O line did a great job today. You know, um, running routes. You know, there's always going to be times where it feels like. We have to rush through the routes because we feel like the linebacker break it down or something. Man, KJ had a lot of time today, you know, and that's a and that's a great thing, you know. So it allows the receivers to, you know, set up these uh, routes, not have to rush, get open, you know, find the zone. So I think, you know, just the whole old line, uh, I'll give them the plus for today. You said you worked extensively outside in the spring. Uh, Jabari said open a lot in the slot at Auburn. How much do you think that helps him? get on the field quicker and make an immediate impact for your offense? Oh yeah, I think um, just me being able to play um, a lot of positions and everybody as well, uh, it helps everybody, you know, get the rotation going, uh, allows more players to get on the field, um, just everybody stays healthy and everybody staying fresh. So I think that's a great thing. All right, thanks, Xavier. Thanks, All right, so thanks, thanks a lot.